Okay, hi guys. I am gonna go to a concert tonight. The concert is in Amsterdam, and right now, as you can see, I'm in my dorm in Utrecht, and I'm gonna go with my best friend, Frederik. We are gonna go to Lizzo. Oh my God. I've been following Lizzo ever since I've heard her song, Juice in this past year, I think, and I've become obsessed with her and her music and the message and everything that she stands for. So I am quickly gonna go to the train station and meet up with my friend, and then we're gonna travel to the Afos in Amsterdam. It's like pretty much next to the Ziggo Dome, I think, which is a really big like concert hall. I don't think I will film like a lot, but I think I'm gonna have an amazing time, so. Tomorrow I will talk to you guys about what I'm currently reading and what I'm doing, but for now I just wanted to quickly mention it and now I'm gonna go to the train station. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel, bitch. <laughs> looks like almost no time has passed but it is midnight that woman she's that bitch <laughs> that which she's amazing like oh my god her vibes and like her message the message that she wants to bring across is just like self-love and <sighs> at first we wanted to really be close to Lizzo but then we couldn't really see a lot so I was like well I want to see the show you know I don't just want to see like one stick figure moving around a little bit I just want to see the whole shebang I want to see the dancers I want to see the lighting whatever so we went um, upstairs so we were standing and I was like dancing and vibing and I don't know oh my god it was just so nice okay but good night guys tomorrow I have school from 10 30 until one in the afternoon and then I'm gonna go and meet up with a friend called Mila and I've just like only met her like two months ago during one of my courses and we both didn't know anyone and we've like bonded. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm gonna go with her to Hilversum which is quite a big city here in the Netherlands. It's like the TV city, like a lot of the TV shows uh, and TV programs are being recorded there but she lives there right now. But yeah, we are gonna go to Hilversum and then we are gonna go to a cafe and study there because I haven't done that in the past week even though I should have done that so she's really like such a great motivator for me to like actually do stuff about school so that is my plan for tomorrow good morning guys today is tuesday november 19th if i'm correct i'm gonna go to uni in like 10 minutes as you can see my hair is quite big i'm gonna you know stylize it or how do you say but i'm gonna do my hair and after that i'm gonna go to school A new day, a messier room, and still I haven't filled you guys in on what I'm currently reading and doing. But first, I'm gonna get ready. My makeup is done for the premiere to Leora's um, documentary that she made. You cannot really see with the lighting, but I did my eye makeup and my face makeup. Like, everything looks snatched. But I'm gonna go to Leora from Books with Leo. Please go check out her channel. She just started her English booktube channel. This past year she made a documentary for like her school project and it's all about females in the art world, in the art industry. I believe that like only 13% of the art that is displayed in museums is made by women and Leora decided to focus more on women in the art world. So I am taking a friend of me with me to this event and I'm very curious to see how it will be and I will let you guys know what I'm currently reading because after all this is a reading vlog and I still <laughs> haven't talked about books. I haven't been feeling that productive lately. Um, I don't know what it is. I think I'm lacking some kind of like rhythm maybe in my system right now. I am following one course instead of two courses right now at uni so I do have a lot of spare time and I just got a job so that's really nice. But with my YouTube I've been feeling very 
at the same level and that is because I have been at the same like especially amount of subscribers for the past one and a half months like I haven't gained a lot of subscribers which makes me feel like I'm stuck at a certain point and I just want to grow and do more things and be more active it sucks that I'm looking at a number in order to feel as if I'm progressing in things it just doesn't make any sense but I just want to be more active on my YouTube and find much more of like a rhythm in my days that's just the, something that I wanted to let you guys know it's completely unrelated to what I'm currently reading which is the thing that I wanted to talk about in the first place but I'm currently reading Mondays Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson I think that maybe my reading is one of the things where I'm not feeling as productive I'm constantly just doing something and I'm not putting my energy into useful things I'm just only like watching YouTube or just scrolling on my phone and I'm not reading. After this weekend, I'm gonna do my best to be more productive. I'm currently reading this book and it is about Claudia and her best friend Monday has been missing for a long time, but no one around her is noticing it pretty much. Claudia is wondering, where is Monday? Why don't people talk about this more? She's trying to like figure out where Monday is. I am on page 127 out of 430 so I'm like one quarter of the way through and I'm not like super invested in the story yet because I'm just not really in a reading mood right now. After recording this I'm gonna sit down and read some in this book because I just need to get more into the story and then I might enjoy it more. I ordered myself The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I didn't pre-order it because I was thinking like it will probably be way cheaper on the day when it comes out and yes it was 10 euros cheaper like holy crap. So I'll probably be reading that very very soon. And the book that I'm currently reading is Love for Imperfect Things by Hyamin Sunim if I'm pronouncing his name correctly but this is my very first like non-fiction self-help book that I'm reading and I do need to continue with it a bit more. I'm gonna grab my stuff for the for the event and then I'm gonna read in my book and on my way to Amsterdam I'm also gonna read in my book. guys today is thursday november 20th if i'm correct i don't know i cannot check right now um i have uni from 1 15 in the afternoon until 3 so very very short it is almost 10 a.m right now but i'm gonna go to the library of the university to read some papers because i didn't do that quickly gonna have breakfast i'm not gonna put on any makeup because why would i then i'm gonna go to uni for like almost two hours and then i'm done for the day again so yay <laughs> yesterday i did read after i put down the camera plus i read a little bit on my way back from the event of Leora's documentary which by the way was absolutely amazing it is in dutch but i don't know if she put like subtitles underneath it and if she did um i will leave a link to the videos in the description bar down below because the documentary is coming out in like three parts yeah so i did read a little bit more in uh monday's not coming i do like it but i'm just kind of struggling still to get through it monday is a character which has a lot of like i think more of like developmental um issues she is super attached to monday which is her best friend and she doesn't really have any other friends basically and she finds it very difficult to accept when monday is trying to make other friends i definitely thought that the main character of this book would be like a 17 year old protagonist but she's like 13 or 14 and i'm definitely noticing it especially with stuff like i just mentioned but something which i think is really great is that she probably has dyslexia wow when you see how she writes things it's like so difficult to read because of all the like mistakes that she makes and i have never read about a main character with dyslexia my boyfriend has dyslexia so even though this is written in english i can kind of like see where she's coming from maybe or like i think it's just really interesting so yeah gonna have breakfast and then i'm gonna go to school yeah hi guys another view from my dorm i don't vlog in the open apparently i think it's really difficult yesterday i was in the university's library like most of the day after that i after that i went and ate some food with a friend of mine i could have filmed it i forgot i'm really sad about it we ate sweet potato soup which is actually 
so delicious. After that, I met up with some friends and went to the city in order to get some gifts for one of my other friends. It's like her birthday party this weekend, so we had to get some gifts for that, of course, but I didn't vlog anything. I'm so bad at this. I feel like these vlogs are so boring for you guys. Initially, I have to start work today um, at my new job. I'm working at a coffee shop, like not the kind of coffee shop which you think of when you think of the Netherlands. It's not with <laughs> weed and drugs and stuff like that. This is just like a breakfast, lunch, coffee, cafe. Maybe I should say it like that in order for it to sound less illegal. Okay, so I'm half, I literally, I'm grabbing my book. So this is Monday is not coming and I am on page 158 until so far. I would love to be able to finish this one next week. I am having quite a busy week next week with lots of fun things, but also some school things. But I really want to finish this one because I just want to finish a book in November. Is that too much to ask for? Well, I should look at myself because I'm not reading that much. I'm talking way too much instead of reading. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I'm back home and I have a really great update for you guys. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in a different angle, but uh, struggles. Okay, so this took me like five minutes to set up. It's really cold, so I'm gonna wear a blanket, but it's also been a struggle to get this blanket on. I love your blanket, Symposia, but sometimes just when I like quickly throw it around you, it's a little difficult. <laughs> I cannot see anything right now. So I have a major update for you guys, which I'm so excited about. I actually read, okay, wait. Let's start with the start of the day. I just came back from like Utrecht and I work today at my new work and I'm really, really excited. I really enjoyed it. I think the coworkers until so far are all super, super kind and I really like to do the job like serving people and making food. I'm really excited to start working there more and I don't really see it as work because I just, until so far, really enjoy it and I really wanna learn a lot. That is of course great. But then today I also read quite a lot until so far. I think I'm even gonna read a little bit more because it's like only 9 uh, p.m. And can you guys see it? I'm over halfway through. So I was at page 158 today and right now I'm at page 246. So I've almost read 100 pages. I will definitely succeed in reaching that 100 page goal for today and I am definitely enjoying it a lot more now that I'm more invested into the story. I got some exciting mail in the news. In the news? Wait, what did I just say? I got some exciting things in the mail and they are all new. Is that what I was trying to say? First of all, so excited for this one. The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. This is the third book in the Folk Air People of the Folk Air of the Folk Folk of the Air series. I don't know what this series is called. This is the third book in like the Cruel Prince and the Wicked King series, the third and final book. Ah, okay, so I read The Wicked King this uh, year, I believe in January when it came out and really enjoyed it. I do definitely need to again refresh my memory because I quickly forget things. The publishing date was set earlier instead of being pushed back. It was published, I believe, on November 19th instead of January of 2020. I think that after I finish Monday's Not Coming, I am gonna read The Queen of Nothing because come on, people. Like, I wanna know what happens in this series and I'm not like super invested in the story right now, but if I refresh my memory, I will probably be like, okay, I need to freaking know. Oh, I haven't looked at like the banners yet of the chapters because they always look super pretty. Again, the map of Elfheim. I think this is one of my favorite maps ever. Like I love the drawing style of the artist who made this. Um, and ooh, oh my God, it is so pretty. This kind of has like Christmassy vibes in the beginning. Oh, okay. The heading is so completely different from the past two books like those were a little bit more naturey like insecty oh, these books are so pretty oh my god i was like contemplating if i wanted to get the uh like fairy loot special edition box of the queen of nothing but then i was like that's again another 40 euros and i do need to save money so instead of saving money i spend money on things on etsy and i also spend money on books because there is a black friday sale on amazon and i went crazy i bought eight books. Yup, I did that. <laughs> Look out for a book haul which will be coming very soon on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to 
grab an Etsy order that came in the mail from Daphne in the Trees. She is a really amazing YouTuber. I've like discovered her through one of my friends and I have been loving like watching her our journal flip throughs and her studio vlogs and they are amazing. She updated her Etsy shop so I definitely wanted to support her so I bought quite a lot of things from her shop. I want to give you guys like a quick dip, a quick overview. <laughs> what was that sound? I don't know. So first of all there is this thank you card in it with a personal message which I think is so so cute. Thank you Daphne for this personal message. Something fun that happened in this package. She definitely did not do this on purpose I'm gonna guess but I'm still very thankful for it. I bought this like sticker set of like cozy stickers so you have one with like an apple and then you have a cute little mug of coffee but I got two stickers <laughs> of the mug which I'm totally not mad about but Daphne if you're watching this I know you probably didn't do this on purpose but I'm still very thankful for it then I bought her like holographic witchy stickers so here we have how do you call this a gemstone I think a crystal kind of thing I'm I might put this on on my laptop it's so Pretty. It's so stunning. Then here she has a bottle that says moon water, which I think is super, super cute. This one is <laughs> so adorable. The frog with the witch hat. And then oh, it's so stunning. I love it. Like I would never draw this myself that quickly, but I think it looks beautiful. And then I bought three kind of like print or like A5 cards. So first off, this one is new in her Etsy shop. So this is a watercolor print of La Luna. So like the moon. I think I'm gonna put this in my dorm or maybe here, but I'm definitely gonna put one of these in my room right here. This print is mm, so good. My friend Leora, she um, got this from Daphne in the mail when I was with her at one point. I don't remember when again, maybe during the summer. And I thought it was so stunning. Like it's just so beautiful. And I decided to buy it for myself. And also this kind of same style like idea of print with a little fox on it and it looks just so cute so I'm really happy with that as well those are the things that I got in the mail today I think I'm gonna like do some journaling right now maybe I don't know I haven't felt that inspired like lately that was my update for today I probably will not have another update for today but maybe tomorrow or the day after that and then I think my first like weekly reading vlog is over. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a weekly reading vlog like actually every single week. I don't think so. I'm gonna try and do it as often as possible because it definitely motivates me to be more involved in the book community as well and I want to be more involved in the book community so yes. <laughs>